Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano and thanks for tuning in. Today's mission is 50mistakes.com, my 50 mistakes website, 50 mistakes that restaurant owners make. And really any business can log on to there and get some free advice, some cyber coaching, so to speak. Um, I want to talk about, I've talked about this before and it's just so important that people get this and understand this. You can't monitor, you can't improve something, you cannot improve something that you're not measuring. It's impossible to. You might think you're doing a better job. You might want to be doing a better job. You might be doing certain things to be doing a better job, but if you're not measuring something, the power is in the numbers. Let me tell you a quick story. My wife's a runner. She hasn't been running long. She's been running maybe three years. She's not a fast runner. Not a fast runner by any means. She just recently bought a Garmin GPS uh, wristwatch, a wrist GPS. She was using RunKeeper before, she was using other programs, she'd stick it in her pocket so she couldn't really monitor her time while she was running. It would go off, let's say mile one, you know, 10 minutes, 30 seconds, mile two, this and that. Once she got that app on her phone, she was able to monitor every mile. So it improved her time from like 11 minute miles. She worked down to like a 10 minute mile. She was able to, 10 and a half minute mile. She was able to make an immediate jump because she could hear every mile, right? Well now, she bought a the GPS wristwatch. Now she can just look and monitor, really, every 10 seconds, every step. She can monitor what's going on, how fast she's going. She's never broke a 10 minute mile. She's not, I guess she's not a fast runner, but she'll go out and run five, six miles. She runs, she's ran several, a few half marathons. She'll run 10Ks. She's not fast. Doesn't make her a bad runner, but she's not fast. So, 10 minute mile. That was her best mile, it was like 9.59, okay? She buys this wristwatch, puts it on, starts monitoring. I'm out there with her running. I've run, run, run many times with her. Her first mile, 9.19. Now, how did she make that much of a difference from one day to another? Because she had the power to monitor her actions. And this is what you have to do in your business. You have to know on a weekly basis if your food cost is going up, if your labor cost is going up. You have to monitor if produce is going up, if your meat's going up, if your meat's going down. You have to monitor all these key numbers. If you're monitoring this once a month, it's too late. It's happened already. It's in the past. It's like her running that, run, monitoring it every mile. That mile's long gone. That month is long gone. It's too late to make changes. People don't understand the power of doing weekly numbers, weekly inventory, monitoring everything you purchase, and understand if the costs, where the costs are, and monitoring these numbers. People don't understand. It's just so powerful to monitor whatever you do, whether it's business, whether it's personal health, whatever. We step on the, we can step on the scale every day, right? As opposed to stepping on the scale once a month. Once a month isn't enough. If you've gained five pounds, that's the last month. Why not get it when you gain the first pound, the second pound? It's like that when you gain that first percent on your on your inventory, on your food cost. When that jumps up, that's when you have to say, man. It jumped up 1%. What can I do? What can I be cautious on? It's so important. So monitor your numbers. I know a lot of restaurants out there don't even run food costs. They don't even do inventory. Not even on a monthly basis. They just don't do it. They don't do it. It's just mind-boggling. If you're a million-dollar business and you can shave one point off of food cost, one point off of labor, you're saving going to save like $10,000 on your cost of goods and on your labor. $10,000 for every point. You start adding a two points for food costs, two points for labor costs. Who couldn't use an extra ten, forty, fifty, seventy thousand dollars in their bank account? You'd be stupid not to be doing this. The money you could actually be paying somebody to monitoring these and running numbers, you'd be saving. You'd be you'd be paying for their salary, you'd be paying for the overtime, you'd be paying for the extra hours into your staff that takes the time to do this. It's a no-brainer. So you have to monitor your numbers. You cannot improve what you do not measure. That's the basic of accounting. That's the basic of running your business. If you're not running your numbers, get onto my site, 50mistakes.com. Check out some other things on there, but I have a lot of things on, on costing food out and, and really understanding you have to run a tight ship. And your staff needs to know. It's so another thing I really hit home on. Your staff needs to know what the food cost is, what the labor cost is. Your team, how can they help you get better labor, a better labor number if they don't know? You have to tell them our goal was 28%. Last week was 31%. The week before was 32. This week is 29. Show them. 
teach them. This is our goal. We're in it together. Don't don't keep these numbers secretive to your staff. Let them know what they are, and 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 don't tell them your profit. That's not that that's not what I'm getting at here. I'm telling you, give them tangibles. Give them numbers that they can they can look at and say, okay, we can improve this, boss. We are with you on this, boss. We can do this. So I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thanks for watching this video. If you like my videos, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, and definitely pass it on. And get over to 50mistakes.com if you haven't been there already. Thanks for watching.